people will not revolt. They will not look up from their screens long enough to notice what is happening. Ladies and gentlemen, wear sunscreen. If I could offer you only one tip for the future, sunscreen would be it. The long-term benefits of sunscreen have been proved by scientists, whereas the rest of my advice has no basis more reliable than my own meandering experience. I will dispense this advice now. Enjoy the power and beauty of your youth. Oh, never mind. You will not understand the power and beauty of your youth until they fade it. But trust me, in 20 years, you look back at photos of yourself and recall in a way you can't grasp now how much possibility lay before you and how fabulous you really looked. You are not as fat as you imagine. Don't worry about the future, or worry, but know that worrying is as effective as trying to solve an algebra equation by chewing bubblegum. The real troubles in your life are apt to be things that never crossed your worried mind, the kind that blindsides you at 4 p.m. on some idle Tuesday. Do one thing every day that scares you. Sing. Don't be reckless with other people's hearts. Don't put up with people who are reckless with yours. Floss. Don't waste your time on jealousy. Sometimes you're ahead, sometimes you're behind. The race is long, and in the end, it's only with yourself. Remember compliments you receive. Forget the insults. If you succeed in doing this, tell me how. Keep your old love letters. Throw away your old bank statements. Stretch. Don't feel guilty if you don't know what you want to do with your life. The most interesting people I know didn't know at 22 what they wanted to do with their lives. Some of the most interesting 40-year-olds I know still don't. Get plenty of calcium. Be kind to your knees. You'll miss them when they're gone. Maybe you'll marry. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll have children. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll divorce at 40. Maybe you'll dance the funky chicken on your 75th wedding anniversary. Whatever you do, don't congratulate yourself too much, or berate yourself either. Your choices are half chance. So are everybody else's. Enjoy your body. Use it every way you can. Don't be afraid of it, or what other people think of it. It's the greatest instrument you'll ever own. Dance. Even if you have nowhere to do it but in your own living room. Read the directions, even if you don't follow them. Do not read beauty magazines. They will only make you feel ugly. Brother and sister, together we'll make it through. Someday our spirit will take you and guide you there. to know your parents. You never know when they'll be gone for good. Be nice to your siblings. They're your best link to your past and the people most likely to stick with you in the future. Understand that friends come and go, but with a precious few, you should hold on. Work hard to bridge the gaps in geography and lifestyle, because the older you get, the more you need the people you knew when you were young. Live in New York City once, but leave before it makes you hard. Live in Northern California once, but leave before it makes you soft. Travel. Accept certain inalienable truths. Prices will rise, politicians will philander, you too will get old, and when you do, 
you'll fantasize that when you were young, prices were reasonable, politicians were noble, and children respected their elders. Respect your elders. Don't expect anyone else to support you. Maybe you have a trust fund, maybe you'll have a wealthy spouse, but you never know when either one might run out. Don't mess too much with your hair, or by the time you're 40, it will look 85. Be careful whose advice you buy, but be patient with those who supply it. Advice is a form of nostalgia. Dispensing it is a way of fishing the past from the disposal, wiping it off, painting over the ugly parts, and recycling it for more than it's worth. But trust me, on the sunscreen.
hit by a solar flare. What exactly have we done? We are at a Category 8 threat level. It means the Earth's going to start opening up volcanic eruptions and boiling oceans. The end of life as we know it. Death tolls are tens of thousands. Sometimes people have to die for the greater good. Principle of cause and effect. Every cause has its effect. Every effect has its cause. Everything happens according to law. Chance is but a name for law not recognized. There are many planes of causation, but nothing escapes the law. This explains that there is no such thing as chance. There are no accidents in the universe. Everything in the universe is governed by laws. There are physical laws, emotional laws, mental laws, and spiritual laws. By understanding these laws, we can learn to operate in grace instead of karma. Many times we don't know the cause for the reason things happen to us. This is because there are seven dimensions of reality in which causation can occur. The Hermetists understand the art of rising above the ordinary plane of cause and effect to a certain degree. They do this by rising to a high plane of consciousness and hence becoming masters instead of victims and causes instead of effects. The average person on the street is in effect, not a cause. They are in effect and victim of thoughts, moods, emotions, desire, appetites, lower self, past lives, and subconscious programming. The basic cause of your life and the thoughts and images you hold in your conscious and subconscious mind by learning to be absolutely vigilant and only allowing into your mind thoughts of God, love, perfection, perfect health, prosperity, and oneness, then this is what you will create both inwardly and outwardly. For your thoughts cause your reality. Be the cause, be the master, be the co-creator with God that you truly are, and then you will be using this law and principle instead of allowing it to use you. Change your polarization with the power of your mind and the power of your God-given free choice. This is achieved by knowing thyself and understanding these universal laws and balances that govern our being. To know God, we must understand God's laws. Thank you for watching.